Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, the channel where I say BAM, a lot of things, and where the dog also wants to speak. Yes, my name is Didi Taihutu for the newcomers, I huddle Bitcoin, I say BAM a lot because, yes, I like it, I like it. In a short TA video today, because I really don't have that much time, um, I'm going to update you on the Bitcoin price, what I see on the charts, what I believe that will happen, and... Uh, one news item and something else really cool just watch the video till the end give it a thumbs up smash the like button for the youtube algorithm do i say it like that i don't know um let's jump into the charts now okay bam Guys, this is the first chart. This is the four hour chart um, on Bitcoin. Like you can see, we had that huge. I need to check if my space is not in the screen. Ah, it's not on the screen, but it's pretty small. And I like it to be bigger, bigger like this. Yeah, like that. Beautiful. OK, so um, we have coffee. And we can see that we had a huge dip down. Bam, we came up. Bam, we almost went above that triangle, but we came in again, and now we are in. The question is now, what is the next move? We can see that there is a lot of resistance on the top, um, which is not strange, because that is an area we've been going sideways for some time, guys. So look, if we zoom out a little bit like this, we can see that there is a lot of resistance here in this area. We need to break that. So for me... To become completely bullish again bullish and like we are going to go higher, higher higher i need to see a higher high so yes we can see a low we can see a higher low we can see uh, this one is higher than that one as well so we need a higher high so we need bitcoin to go for example now from here to 40k and then we have that higher high over there higher than this one and then indeed maybe we will pull back to that resistance area now which then becomes support then again to go higher to create another higher high and if we do it like that then you create this new support line you know that trend line that is going up so that is what we need now to go up come down go up in my opinion but let's see what the charts are saying and um, i think the bam bam indicator at the moment is <coughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> is giving a short in the four hour so that means a short flag this one is not crossing yet it's too much green so it's not a short yet so this short can still turn into a long um, or change again because we can see the red area is not pointing downwards but pointing sideways and this green candle starts to form we didn't close the candle down below the yellow stepping line the bam bam didn't cross and it's still green so we still have uh, we need to be patient to see what happens. Let's jump into the next chart. Bam. Weak chart. Yes, very important to see that we are finding support on this line. And this line, to be clear, because people have been asking me, what is the line? This line, these are the Fibonacci retracement levels. And that line is, I think, I need to be clear, the yeah the 38.2 percent yeah the 38.2 percent level so that is the level where we are finding support that is the level where we have found support during every bull run when we pulled back here this bull run 2017 we went in the bull run we went up and when we pulled back look i'm going to zoom in we found support at that level there the same line the 38.2 percent level if we go back to the bull run before here uh, not drawing did he here this one let's see um, over here the 2013 bull run you can also see guys the moment we pulled back you can see here i'm going to delete wait let me first delete this line yes prepared very good no didn't um, when we pulled back we found support on that line again 38.2 percent so very important line 
to keep support. And that is what we see again during this bull run. So for me, just the natural movement of Bitcoin. Either way, we copy 2017, 2013, 14, or we make a complete new bull run. We found support in that same area, which we also, bam, see over here, the Gaussian channel. I've been talking about the last two videos because it was important that we didn't close the body inside this channel, and we didn't. We found support. We are creating a new candle, 10th of June. This one will take another five days, still a 15th of June, and then the new one will be created. So this one needs to bounce up, in my opinion, as well, not go into the channel because then we can see some more downwards price movement. Bam! Next channel, a chart. Yes, I will keep talking about these charts because I told you I will keep you up to date on what is happening. We can still see that we could see a bearish cross over there, but you can also see that the green line is a little bit changing direction a little bit so we can still see it in the 20 19th or 20th of june um, and still the same opinion it doesn't mean that the bull run is over because we saw a cross earlier here in march 2020 and that was not the end of the bull run that was a few weeks later in may a new cross a golden cross and that was the start of the bull run and that brought us all the way up to 60k so not the clearest indicator in my opinion because it's also lagging but it is considered by many to see it as a bearish thing and when many see it as a bearish thing they will probably sell some bitcoins when they see it to play it safe and that can drop the price again but let's see maybe we see no cross and we see it turning up again and we get this beautiful run in bitcoin to come above the 200 day moving average let's jump into bam this chart this is the last chart and then i have one more news item the nvt price you can see we found the bottom and we are turning up again the most most important thing now is my face in the screen yeah, of course it's my face in the screen bam now you can see the bottom the most important thing now is that we come back above this line this dotted line the line of one you can see here in the, le in the left side the line of one this level we need to cross again to come back in the rest of the bull run in my opinion because if you look to the left um to for example 2017 the moment we came down below it we need to come above it again to continue the bull run and then yes you can retest it and you need to go up way up to see the top of the bull run we saw this also a little bit in 2019 you see the top is really high is at a, at a level of 2.07 here we were now at the level of 2.1 but still in my opinion this is going to reverse up to the nvt price and the nvt price is 54,000 now so let's see what is going to happen there and i think bam david Geta believes that bitcoin is also going up because he is putting his luxury miami apartment for sale and he will accept 38 bitcoin for it let me know how much it is i think 14 million dollar but he's selling his apartment for 38 bitcoin because dj Geta he understands that he needs to hedge his capital and his stones and his real estate now into something more like store of value-ish that is also going to increase his capital in the future. And that is why he's also selling this now for Bitcoin. Many more billionaires and people, um, you know, that now start to, bam, understand Bitcoin are going to hedge into Bitcoin with their capital, with their uh, apartments he has some more apartments all over the world so why not sell one of them for 38 bitcoins and then take a shitload of profit in four years time because every time you hold bitcoin for longer than four years you will be in profit that was the short ta video for today i hope you really enjoyed it and um, if you did enjoy the short ta video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please then leave a comment as i love to respond to your comments also watch today's second video with my daughter jody because she shares what she is going to do with her bitcoins really cool to see a 15 year old still 15 almost 16 tell us no she turned 16 <laughs> oh i'm a bad dad bam she turned 16 last week oh my god that was really a fail but i will leave it in because you see i'm a natural normal person that makes mistakes as well um, but she turned 16 and in five years times let's see what she will do but watch the video thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again guys bam